He showed you exactly a map. He gave you a map. People ask me, Akhi, what do I need Dean for? Have you ever heard this? What do I need Dean? You know. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post daily reactions. Um, like I said, if you're new, there's other things that we also do. You can find our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0, and you can just Take a breather from this channel and enjoy the vlogs that we post on the other channel. Other than that, you can find us on Patreon, um, Fanny and Jesse, and you can just feel free to become a member. You can also find us on podcasts. We also have a podcast called uh, Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You can find us on you can find us on iTunes um, on this channel and also what's it? I keep forgetting it. Um, Spotify. We're not on Spotify, so you can also find us there. And for everything else that we do, you can head to the description and everything will be there. The links will be there and just feel free to click them and enjoy the content that we're putting out. A big shout out to the person that suggested this and a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, uh, commenting, interacting with us, giving us things to do and just being positive and teaching us more or everything that you guys are doing thank you very much as you can tell from the title today i'll be reacting to the shocking truth behind the muslim youth hamad hoblos star what team so without wasting time let's get into the video by the way i hope you guys are doing all right let's get into the video <laughs> my brothers and please yani, let, let's just off the bat whatever I'm gonna say I'm sure there's differences of opinion I'm sure other people have other wallahi I'm good to everyone wallahi good luck to everyone I'm just sharing my views yeah my views whatever you like take whatever you don't like I'm not a sheikh I'm not a alim I'm not a mufti I'm nothing wallahi I'm nothing I'm a zabbal you like something I said Take it, wallahi, it came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't like it, brother, drop it and keep moving. Don't, don't, don't alli, you know? Don't alli. Everyone's got an opinion, you know? So my brothers, why are we here? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create us? Are we here to play games? Be honest. Are we here to play games? Why are we here? Wallahi, my brothers, the more I spend time with the youth, I see that, you know, and, 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 and we always blame the youth. The truth is, is that the youth is a reflection of what came before them. Everyone's so focused about the youth and our youth are lost and our youth are confused and our youth... Habibi, our youth are lost and confused because you're lost and confused. Because our fathers and mothers were lost and confused. Very easy to stand and point the finger and say, look at them. Look at them. Habibi, your son, your daughter is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of you. How did you spend your time? What are you doing with your life? Your kid is trying to do the exact same thing, maybe, maybe through a different path, but the exact same thing. So why are we here, my brothers? Is the purpose of life to get married? Is the purpose of life to wear nice clothes? Is the purpose of my existence to build a big home? Is that why I'm here? Or am I here to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Am I here? Has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has placed you on this earth for what? For short time. If Allah, if Allah gives you life, how much is he going to give you? 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, and then what? And then you're going. And then you're going. And then what do you take with you? What do you take? Wallahi, my brothers, this world is so trivial, you have no idea. No idea. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you for a short time to worship Him, to call to Him, to glorify Him, to establish deen in your life. Two things, my opinion, two things. The purpose of your existence on earth is to establish deen in my life and to establish deen on the earth. Simple. Deen in me and deen in others. 
That's the purpose of your life. That's why you're here. Allah, my brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care. He doesn't care. Allah doesn't care how much money you have. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care how many cars you drive. Allah doesn't care how, you know, how big your house is, how many bedrooms, whether there's en suites, you know, granite bench tops, bench. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care. It's all dunya. Al dunya mal'una wa mal'unun ma fiha. Law kanat al dunya ta'dilu inda Allahi janaha ba'uda ma saka kafiran minha sharbit ma. The Prophet of Allah, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this world is so trivial. This world is so pathetic. This world is so cheap in the eyes of Allah. It's so cheap. It's so worthless. He says, if, if, if it doesn't, but if this world had any value in the eyes of Allah, Allah would not have had given a single kafir a sip of water to drink. Not a sip of water would he have had given a single kafir. Imagine someone that hates Allah. He hates his prophet. Is an enemy of Islam. Clear, open enemy. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still gives them, still opens doors upon them. Money, cars, women, palaces, empires, governments. And Allah gives. Why? Because all of it, it means nothing to Allah. It's worthless. This is not success. And what's sad is you and I, the Muslim, you and I, the ones that have been given deen, the ones that have been given light, the ones that have been given the greatest gift to humanity. The greatest gift is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Quran and the book. Of, we've left that. We've left the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We've left his deen. We've left his way. We've left his sunnah. For what? What have we left it for, my brother? What for this world, for this dunya? For this dunya? Whoever left this world and took anything with him? Whoever left this dunya and took anything with him? Yet we still fall in the same holes. We still make the same mistakes. The night has been called, which side are you on? Ask yourself, which side are you on? Are you on Allah's side? Are you on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Are you on his side? Which side are you on? And don't, wallahi, don't fool yourself. Claim, claims, claims, claims. Habibi, everyone talks. If talking was going to allow us to enter into paradise, Habibi, trust me, we're all in Firdaus al-A'la. But you look at the Sahaba and you look at the Prophet. They spoke very little and they did much. Today we speak very much. And do very little. Which side are you on? Wallahi, my brothers, every single person is searching for happiness. And we're all searching for success. Every human is. Muslim and non-Muslim alike. Everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to be happy. Everyone wants to be ahead of the game. But Allah has sent you the Prophet. Allah has sent you his book, his Quran, to show you which path is success. To show you which path leads to happiness. And we've left it and turned to what? What have we turned to? What have we turned to? People ask me, Akhi, now why are we suffering? Why are we miserable? Habib, why do you think we're miserable? The Prophet of Allah, he said, I left you on the clear road, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I left you on the clear road. I left you on the clear path. Layluha, kanahariha. It's night. It's like it's day. I left no stone unturned. I ask you by Allah, a man that taught you how to clean yourself in the toilet. Imagine he showed you how to clean, not just how to clean, what hand to use. What hand to use. You think someone that went through so much detail is going to leave you lost without direction? He showed you exactly a map. He gave you a map. People ask me, Akhi, what do I need Dean for? Have you ever heard this? What do I need Deen? You know why you need Deen? Because Deen is your GPS through life. Deen is your GPS through life. If you don't have Deen, Habib, you're a lost soul. You're chasing your whims and your desires. Deen is a GPS. I'm lost, Habibi. I'm lost. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Uh, Deen, GPS. Turn around. Final destination where? Jannah. Fine. Your location. Final destination. That's the road. Follow. Follow. But now, no, no. 
the road is clear. It's there. I can see it. Let me. And everyone thinks he's a doctor and a scholar. Habibi, no, trust me. Go left here. I'll show you a shortcut. Turn right here. Trust me, Anna. I've been here before. And then when he turns right, guys, you see, oh, my God, man. I don't know, Wallahi, you know, there used to be a tree. I think they cut the tree down. by left and right and you turn. Habibi, what do you waste your time for? The path is there. The path is clear. Wallahi, my brothers and my sisters, please try to understand this concept. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not looking to be impressed with what you can come up with. You know, sometimes people think that, you know what? That look, I know that that's the path. But I want to impress Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I want to do something else. Or I want to do something extra. Allah is not impressed with this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not looking for that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it very clear. This is my path. This is my road. And this is my prophet. And, the, and you will only success if you follow his road. Anything and everything other than his way will lead you to destruction. Even if it's under the banner of deen. Yeah, and if I want to create, and this is where this whole topic of bid'ah comes from. If I want to create a new form of worship, it's sincere, it was really for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's out of this form of bid'ah. If the Prophet didn't do it, it's going to lead you to destruction. Why? Because Allah is not looking for inventions. Allah made it very clear. That's the road, that's the path. He was perfection. You follow, you reach success. You don't follow, you come up with your own things, you make lefts and rights, you're going to be destroyed. Very simple. Very simple. So my brothers, in relation to this topic, you know, where are we? Where are the youth? What's happening in our communities? What's going on with the boys? Why have we left the way of Rasulullah Why have we left the way of the Sahaba? For the way of what? What life are we living? What life have, really, what life have we chose? We've become thugs. Thugs. And not gangsters, someone warned me. He said to me, brother, don't call them gangsters. I said, what, what do you mean? He said to me, call them pranksters, because that's what they are. You call him a gangster, even though you're, you know, even though you're addressing the issue, but deep down in his heart, he feels like, see? So he acknowledges I'm a gangster. Habibi, you're a prankster, that's what you are. You're a prankster. You choose a life other than the life. And listen, please, please try to understand. Don't think a gangster is someone that gets tattoos and sells drugs. La Habibi, Wallahi, there are people with beads and they pray in the masjid and their fathers and they're 60 and 70 years of age and he's a bigger gangster than the gangster on the street. A gangster is someone, you know, sorry, a prankster. A prankster is someone that oppresses. A prankster is someone that 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 that, that leaves the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He's a prankster. But my brothers, what have we left? We left the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the life of whom? For the life of whom? What are we following? What's happening in our community? What's happening in our community? There's a death on a weekly basis. A death on a weekly basis now. And who's killing who? Don't you understand? When you leave the way of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, people tell me, brother, look at what kafar. Habibi, don't, never mind what kafar are doing to you. Allah Himself will destroy you. When you leave the manhaj, when you leave the way, when you leave the path, Allah will destroy you. Never mind what kafar are doing. Allah Himself will destroy you through your own actions. Through your own actions. We've left the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam for who? Let's be honest. For the way of Fir'aun. Is that what we're doing? Whose side are you on? Are you on the Prophet's side or are you on Fir'aun's side? And the youth and my brothers and my sisters, you know, Wallahi, I see, I see the love we have for this love. Yani this life, bro, we glorify it so much. Far did you see? Far did you hear? Brother, you see what he's driving? Do you see what he's wearing? We love it. Brother, what do you love about it? What do you love about it? 
you choose the life of the prophets, you will have the ending of the prophets. But if you choose the life of Pharaoh, by Allah, you will have the fate and you will have the end of Pharaoh. And this was interesting to listen to like I said a big shout out to the person that um, suggested this um, I like the beginning of this video at the end of the day it's his opinion it's my opinion that I'm going to give at the end of this video so it's either you find the good in what I'm saying or if it doesn't sit well then bounce it's as simple as that you don't have to bring out the bad in every situation uh, i feel like he stumbled when he said this so when it comes to life there are people that are there i like another thing that uh that caught my attention is the fact that um he was talking about the youth we are a reflection of our parents or the people before us i tried to tell my mother this the other day and she was against what I was saying. She said, no, you are like that because you want to be like that. I'm like, no, children are learning from their parents. That's why this youth is so disorganized. This, not youth, but generation is so disorganized. Because the people before us, I feel, were disorganized. And she just pushed everything aside. So to find someone who's saying the same is actually a relief. They've created a mess out of us that even if we want to do something, it's going to end up in a mess. There's many things going on with the youth right now. And only, I don't even know what to say, but otherwise there's a lot of things going on with the youth. Instead of blaming the youth for things, check yourselves. That's, I'm talking to the people that are older than us or our parents or whatever the case is check yourselves but at the end of the day we shouldn't also say because our generation or maybe we've been affected by the generation before us we can always change let's not be them we can try so hard as to change the outcome of situations it's not easy as i'm saying it but we can try and another thing was um Otherwise, I like the content of this video and I hope you guys do as well. So if there's any point that stood out to you or you that, or you would like to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you for suggesting this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe.